Hey guys, what is going on? So um, we are here at the May 2002 Cup. Um, this is game number three, and it is uh, between Cormick and Cooper. This is round one. And uh, so we're going to look at the bracket right here. So this is how it went. I got my ass kicked by Alex. I got Swift 2 would Robert beat Edgar the other day, and now we're on Cooper and Cormick. So Jackson, you can tell him to go ahead and go if you can, and then uh, we're going to hop into this. So um, Spoo, which is the little fairy thing down here, red, that's Cooper. And then uh, Cormick is the Deep Sea Diva blue at the top. Okay, it looks like Cooper got the uh, first one. And cool. We are go. So Cooper's a good friend of mine. I'm um, kind of rooting for him, but Cormac's a cool guy too. So I'm really just I'm just looking for a good match. If I'm being completely honest, I'm hoping I'm hoping we go into game three. Every single match so far in this whole entire uh, thing has been 2-0. So. <laughs> Right off the gate, like, so Jackson's here with me. What's up, Jackson? Not much, man. Just waiting for some exciting gameplay. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how experienced Cormick is in 2002. I th I want to say he's pretty good. Um, I've never I've never like played against him or anything. So I know Cooper's pretty good. So this is gonna be a good match. Yeah. All right. So one for one. Right there with the bug and the log in. That's good. I'm surprised Cormac hasn't set more yet. Okay, well there. Okay, he set two. Okay. <clears throat> um, so that's a cool combo if uh, you know you have something like trap hole because like then your opponent you know can't run over it and then you just get to 13 for free because you can just turn them to defense next turn so Cooper was playing soul control and soul change and someone's going judgment and stuff I don't know what he's playing now so <clears throat> do what Looks to me like he's just playing standard. Yeah. Until we see the Soul Exchange flip up. There's different builds of Soul Exchange. One is where you play, like, just Lajins and uh, Wicked Worm Beast and stuff like that. And then, your, and then your tributes and that kind of stuff. But another one is also where uh, you just kind of stall and play big monsters with big defense like this and just blow off and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what Cooper's doing. All right. This one's Battle Ox. That's kind of a a dead giveaway for the reinforcements. I I would think. Or he has a fit or he has a fissure. Yeah, or a fissure. Okay, man you're bugged. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Which is smart on Cormix end because like Cooper most of the time, most people wouldn't trap hold the battle ox because they're like, okay, cool, let him overcommit. But um, once the uh, battle ox kind of got summoned, then he had to flip the major bug and get in that 2150. So pretty good on Cormac's end. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, you know what? Honestly, man, it, it is to a point because um, if you – I will all day long – Summon another 17 onto the field that I have. If I already have another flip that's already been activated, you know what I mean? Because uh -huh. it's kind of like it's it's um, a monster that already got utility, and then it's a 17, and 17s are kind of your pawns anyway. So, um, I'll I'll get dark hold all day long with those two if I was able to utilize my flip effect. I'm confused as to why he's coming back as opposed to his legend. I don't know. I don't know. I think that might cost him, though. If he has a reinforcement, then he's fine. Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe he's just trying to utilize his reinforcements. It could just be a bait. Trying yeah. to kill it. Oh, Fissure. That's nice. All right. Maybe Cormac knows that he might have had the reinforcements. 
Yeah, because, man, with reinforcements, you have to use them every chance you get, or else they will clog, and they will just be useless parts. Like, um, reinforcements is... When I started playing, I played them, I just kept batting them out. Yeah. Okay, so he is playing Soul Control. Okay. okay. Judge Man, all right. Sadly, he cannot battle, but totally cool. Okay. <laughs> Judgment. Broken. <laughs> yeah, Judgment's really good in this format. Like, it's funny to think like Judgment is just such a good card. Like in this format. Oh. And and no matter and he can run over pretty much anything that uh Cormix set and it will just be a two for two because soul exchange out of the monster and then Ooh. Maybe a two for one. Okay, two for two. Okay, he did have the reinforcements. Okay. All right. This is really interesting. I feel like both of these players really know what the hell is going on. So, it's really and good. Cooper probably has like a handful of monsters. That's yeah. He's about seven. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> There's uh, a Fissure. Fissure's so good in this format because it can just out like... The other day I activated Fissure on a Blue Eyes. Yeah. It's my wife. Hey, babe. I say, no, I mean, you, you, we can. You can say, hey. Uh, yeah, you get to wear that. I'm pretty sure that they can see you. Yeah, they can. <laughs> she had to get my cat out of here. Oh, you put him in the oh, no, Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Anyway. I mean, but it, it's a, it's still anybody's game. Nobody's seen, um, you know, like Pot of Greed or, you know, any of that kind of stuff yet, so. Sure. You never know. Change of heart. Change of heart. That's, Ooh. A, that's a killer one. This could be game if Cooper doesn't have Wabaku. Yep. Interesting. Probably, not even probably like a giant soldier. If it's a giant soldier, then it would. Not do anything. I you think you'd still want to flip it though? Oh, damage step. Ah, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, Corwin knows what he's doing. Okay. Damn. Rip, Cooper. God, that was quick. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well, 1 0 Cormick. So just to follow up, Cormick's up in the blue, Cooper's down in the red. And that was brutal. That's yep. crazy, but that it was pretty close. I've. It's weird to see. You don't see a whole lot of games that end in two thousand two as quick as that one do as that one did because like, um, a lot of but most of the time both players will go down to. <laughs> see, most most of the time both players will go down to, uh, uh, less than like three or four thousand, and most players won't have that much card advantage still, in each other any chance so. The moment Cooper got up to two, I think he misplayed, that would have cost him to lose the advantage. Yeah. If, he had, if he had kept pushing, then he would have probably gotten it. I think you're probably right. Although we don't know what's in his hand. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, you just you never even know. It's weird spectating on DB because, like, you really can't see what's in the hand like you wouldn't like real life duel stuff. So. This feels like a paleo board. Do what? This feels like a paleo board. I know. <laughs> okay, setting a monster. Oh, I didn't even know that Cormac's background on his or the back of his sleeves were <laughs> were, were frogs. That's ironic. It's probably a trap monster. You would think. You would think. Trapmaster, Wall of Illusion, or Man Eater just makes no sense. Yeah. So it's a wall of some kind, or Trapmaster. I think you're 100% right. Because if it's a Man Eater, what a god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you usually don't set Man Eaters without your opponents. It's Trapmaster. Yeah. Alright. Flip over that spell. Flip it over. I hope it is a spell. I hope Cooper wins this one. Right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I really do hope that Cooper wins this. Only because, like, I want to see, I want to see a game three. Yeah, it's weird that we haven't had one. 
Yeah. Everybody's just been whipping ass quick. See, this is this is when it's acceptable to uh, summon two monsters. But I also want to say, if that's a wall of illusion, then he can just like gain back gonna, with the trap. Yeah, he can just bounce the. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Hell yeah, Cooper's a man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So Arm Ninja, for anybody that doesn't know, Arm Ninja is the um, spell version of Shot Master. Okay. Nope. What's, what's sad is the second ninja came out and two steps later, and it was a, a bad version of Trap Master. Yeah. Yeah. Arm Ninja's cool, though. It's a good side card if you know that your opponent's playing, like, two swords. Yep. And for like back row control decks, there's one that plays like triple this, triple arm ninja, triple trap master, triple D spill, and that's kind of fun. Ooh, pot of green. Ooh, pot. All right. Come on, Cooper. Step up. Like I said, last game I wasn't really going for either one or the other, but now I'm definitely going for Cooper just because I want to see a game three. Oh my god, what? Ah, damn it. Another trap. He's missed twice. Jeez, dude. You either miss them all or you, like, get them all. Like, what's his face the other day? Um, Robert? <laughs> eh, he, like, he opened, like, two trap masters and then he just hit, like, one right after the other. All right, so advantage of seven to nine. Yep. This is going to get trap hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. All right. So all of his sets have been traps. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I try not to set more than one trap at a time, if I'm being completely honest, just because I don't want... Like, if I have two trap holes, I'll just set one and keep one in my hand. Or same with Wabaku or whatever. That makes sense. Because it's just so, it hurts so right. much Oof, for, change. for your opponent to. Judge Man or Summon Skull, though, that's the question. No, he's already tried to, he's already normal summon, so. <gasps> he could boss reborn and then overlay. Shit. <laughs> Wait, he already normal summon? Yeah, he normal summoned Battle Ops and got trappled. Oh, yeah, that's right. Duh. Change of Heart is arguably the best card. Out of pot, outside of pot of greed, like in uh, soul control, because like with soul exchange, like you can't, um, you can't exactly like. You can't battle, but uh, yeah, with change of heart, you just go no. I win. Yeah, and, and you get to it. flip their stuff possibly. And uh, I don't know, change of hearts. Like it's not that it's a bad card or anything, but out of like the best five spells, it's the least good. I, I, I don't know. But it's definitely utilized like completely with. Okay, 3K. Damn, Cooper. Mm. <laughs> Dark Hole or Ragecki needs to come out right here. <laughs> I'm expecting a Ragecki, Dark Hole, and then a set monster. Yeah. Right. Fissure, okay. Huh. Why didn't. Okay, no, never mind. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Do the two. He needs to summon a Wajin. Oh, wait, he has Monster Reborn set. Right. So yeah. So he's going to here, but... Okay, so Neo or Battle Ox would be the ideal, because that's the only biggest thing. Okay. All right. Monster Reborn is such a good card. All right. Cooper, battle here, and then if you have a tribute, tribute. Don't... Right, right. Well, I don't know. Then if his opponent has fissure, then his opponent hasn't seen a fissure yet. So. He's seen one. He might, he might have a reinforcement set. No, he just, no, no, he no, just no. set two cards. So. Oof, Lajin. Uh -huh. the battle phase, and we know his opponent has reinforcements. Yes, they both. Maybe Cooper has two. Right. 
Ugh. Yeah, we know Cormac has. Well. Damn it. Ah, maybe Cooper has another. No! no. God <laughs> dang, dude. This is a mess. <laughs> Pot agreed. Nope. Okay. Batman. Swords are, swords are revealing light. This is where swords are revealing like, like swords are revealing like definitely is handy. Uh -huh. Oh my god, dude. Maybe maybe a tribute and soul exchange. That would be great right here. Okay, okay that's something. Come on, Cooper, take us to game three. Okay, what is this? Third arm ninja. Oh, oh, my God. In Cooper's defense, he did see two arm ninjas right off the bat and missed yeah. both. Okay, okay. that's Guaranteed. something. That's <laughs> something. I mean, granted, he didn't really keep monster presence, but, you know. Yeah. Maybe you're a Raigeki here. He did at least go yeah. one for one. Raigeki would have been badass right here. If you can Raigeki or Dark Pool, a wash in and a preemptively flipped. Uh, if he damages on wash in, then that's GG. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. Wow. Damn. Holy shit. Hang on, let's pull him into this. Yeah, add him into this. Add him into this call. I'm kind of curious. Can you do that on your end? Yep. Okay. Say. Okay. Do that. Do How is Soul Control going for you, dude? That man. When I played Soul Control the other day, I, I all um my my replay of my game is coming up pretty soon. Uh, FYI for anybody watching this. Um, but man, Soul Control can be bricky. When you pull off the combos, it's definitely worth the brick sometimes. But, um. Yeah, and to be fair, this is Cooper's first game that he has lost playing in this format. He's played probably like four or five matches against me, and he keeps whipping my ass. So I'm not as good at this format as I would like to be. <laughs> or I just don't have good luck when it comes to... I wasn't even thinking about the ninja. That makes sense with tributes. Yeah, for sure. God dang. Seeing double ninja at the beginning really hurts, for sure. Absolutely. Uh uh, Sam, let's go ahead and pause it. You can edit out this part, and then uh, we can open up a new call for the player interview. Oh, well, you want to uh, just add Cooper to this? Uh, it's really difficult when it's a between two people and not already a group chat. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, all right, cool. Let's just add him to it then. All right, I'm hanging up, and then uh, everybody watching this, give us about 30 seconds to get Cooper on. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you from the group chat. Okay, cool. Bye. So that was pretty brutal for anybody watching. Um, that was crazy. Opening up double arm ninja definitely really hurts from the get-go. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so probably not going to edit that whole part out, but uh, we're just going to wait for um, them to hop on, and we're going to talk to Cooper and see what the hell happened between all of this. So that was crazy. Cormac just absolutely demolished him. So. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. All right, can you hear me? All right, Cooper, are you on? No, I put Cormac in because that's the winner first. Oh, okay, cool. What's going on, Cormac? <laughs> I don't think he's in yet. Oh, he's not in yet? Nope. Oh, shit. Okay, well. All right. So it's just me and you talking again then? Currently, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. Cormac joined. Yeah, we good? Yeah, what's going on, dude? That was brutal. That was pretty cool. I love the format. Yeah. God dang, dude. Yeah, that was just like crazy. He, uh, I was just, I was, no offense. I was telling, I was telling, uh, Jackson during like the, uh, the chat or the, uh, you know, actual match. I was like, I'm going for Cooper on game two just, just because I want to see a game three, but. God dang, dude! You you won both uh, the games without even dropping below like five thousand life points on each. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy. It's a real challenge to run anything other than beat down in the format. To be honest, I think anything like weird, like the fiend equip or the yeah. dragon or the fusions, it's really hard. So I mean, yeah, pretty good job. Yeah, and I agree. Yeah, you can definitely like soul control. Uh, 
really bricks because you either just see sometimes like sometimes you'll see your only your spells or sometimes you'll see a handful of like tribute monsters but if you can like see somewhat even ratios then it's gg on your end because like it's really hard to out a bunch of you know 25s consistently so but i don't know man that was brutal um most games both players will um you know go below three or four thousand you know what i mean as far as <laughs> like life goes because it's kind of back and forth but I don't know, that was kind of a wipeout both times. We've had a couple of deck matches, a couple times where, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just one's all game. Yeah, pretty much. Well, right on, man. Well, congrats. Uh, I think next you play... Um, you're going to play the winner between George and Parker. So, in the, in the top four. So, hell yeah, man. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Sam, uh, when did you start the format? When did I start playing? Um, I technically in O2, but my decks were a lot shittier back then. <laughs> um, but I probably started playing this format, um, in depth in 2014 or 2015. Me and my friend Tyler just really decided to get into it and just, uh, I don't know. We got tired of modern Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we got kind of bored of GOAT for a little bit before people started getting super innovative. And we just, uh, messed around with this for a while. And I don't know. I like the format, but... I, every time I get uh, competitive with it, I just get my ass kicked. So <laughs> I'm more of a fan than I am good at it. I think I don't know. That's what it's looking like. So. It's a weird one. I, mean, I, was, I was curious mostly about um, where the revival of the format came from. Because like when I like I think Ghost was more popular earlier, like around 2010. Yeah. I hear so much about this format, but it was kind of like in the background. People had been talking about it, kind of. Yeah. So, I ended up joining eventually because it's just that simple. And like, <laughs> you just look under the bed and you have like ninety percent. I know card. that. Yeah, I think that's a big thing about it is you can build the whole deck for five bucks in a common box at a game shop, you know. Or like, it's I don't know. A lot of it's kind of nostalgia and stuff too. Like, um, in goat format, if you like set man eater bug, like it really doesn't do that good. But in in two thousand two, like if you set man eater bug, like it's pretty strong. So I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, all right, man. Well, congrats, and uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll all uh, be sure to you know commentate on the next one, and you know, hopefully, you get it in the top four. I don't really know George, but I know Parker. But if Parker wins, you're in for a good match. So. Yeah, no, gonna enjoy it. Cool, man. Cool. All right, we'll talk to you later, man. Yeah. See you guys.